What is up, YouTube? Hey, welcome back to another episode. I've got a bunch of little projects to take care of around the house today. i got to get the compressor fixed. I've got some stuff to do in the garden. And I've got some stuff that I've been putting off on the Civic that I really don't want to do, but it's got to get done. So, get after it. Alright guys, so what I'm discovering is this presser switch that I bought doesn't want to hook up with the stuff that I've got. So it looks like we're making a trip to Lowe's. Um, we'll have to go get whatever bits and pieces and pipe fittings and whatnot it's going to take to get this thing hooked up right. Um, so I guess I'll put you on after that. See you guys soon. So at this point, I don't know if it's even worth it anymore. I just dropped almost 100 bucks at Lowe's on little brass fittings and I don't know I could probably get a whole nother compressor off a of marketplace for that price but I have this one it's gonna be built to my specifications I'm gonna see the bright side of it and go with it so uh, trip to Lowe's was mostly successful and I got a bunch of fittings I'm gonna put you guys on we're gonna get to work and you'll see how it turns out All right, you guys, so I'm going to teach you the way that I learned how to do this. So when you're putting on Teflon tape, uh, the old guys always showed me, you put it on there just like if it was a nut so that as you tighten this down, the goal would be, I'm just going to break this off. The object is when you thread the next fitting together you want it to pull that loose tail tighter and tighter otherwise if you do it the other direction as soon as you start threading this in it's going to hook that loose tail and then unwind your teflon tape so the ogs always told me you do it just like you're putting on a nut that's the direction you go along the threads and then it'll always stay put and then do what it's supposed to do so that's your tip for the day
What's up, my people? This was beyond frustrating last night. You have no idea. It took me a dozen, probably, tries to get the bends right in that copper. Let me show you. So, this little thing right here, and then this bend under here, so hard to get this copper bent without kinking. I even use, like I've got a brake line bender tool. I use that. Still, it was smashing it. It was kinking right here, kind of in the 45 area. Just kinking it flat. Like, you know, little focus. There we go. Stuff like that. I mean, that was with the bender. You know, I'm getting it smashed flat. Here was another attempt. Right? Focus. Focus. There we go. Right? So it starts off looking good, but then by the time you get a bend in it, just total garbage. So that was beyond frustrating. But we got it. And then I figured out, oh yeah, wait, if I still got to put the gauges and everything else on here, as low as this is to the tank, there was no way. So I get to take this all apart. I had to go buy more compression fittings for this thing because I ruined all the other ones. So more compression fittings. Uh, but I'm going to have to take this whole switch assembly back off of there, get the gauges on, get the um, pressure regulator on there, get all that sorted, and then put it back on the tank, which I think I'm going to have to take the handle off to do. Let's get to work. Here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, and I popped the breaker again. Dang it. All right, attempt number two with one less air conditioning unit on. Still blows the breaker. Unreal. They say the third time's the charm. All right, guys, well, garden's looking all right. Sweet potatoes are doing good. Tomatoes, eh, not so much. The purple sweet potatoes coming along. Cherry tomatoes. We got our cucumbers. Built this trellis. Um, that was the big project in the garden today. Basil's doing killer. My broccoli's over there. Eh, they're struggling a bit, but they're coming back. So I'm having this issue and since I've got the YouTube, if y'all know why my tomatoes like to do this, 
they start off good and then they all start dying at the bottom and it always starts from the bottom up and it's every time I've had tomatoes in this garden they seem to do great up here like I'll get fruit like this one I've got two sweet little cherry tomatoes up there um, and you know I've got buds and stuff this one's the same way right I, I get it this is an heirloom but it's the same thing like it started growing real nice from the ground and then it gets a little ways up and then it, all of a sudden it'll start dying from the bottom and like this just kind of chases the green until the plant gets where it's more dead than alive if you got any ideas you can help me out you know make some suggestions what i should look for and evaluate you know leave, leave me a comment but that's it for today guys um we'll get some more content out soon nova people hang in there i got something special coming for you soon so yeah appreciate you hanging in with me we got that compressor working thanks everybody for watching and don't forget to leave a like or a comment if you got suggestions things we need to work on projects we got to do next um and any content that you're specifically looking for you're looking for k10 stuff leave a comment hey do some more chevy stuff you know nova stuff if you like seeing the import stuff you know just fixing whatever car is broken or if you like seeing the customization stuff leave me a comment that way i can you know get you guys the content you want to see if it's a project that we got around the house and you know something we're working on in the shop that you guys are interested in i'll make it happen for you so thanks everybody for watching we'll see you soon let's do work